Hi and welcome to the channel. I would like to say first of all a big thanks to all the people who have subscribed since the last video. I'm very impressed, very thankful. This is probably going to be the first night out of Astro Photography in, I'm going to say near enough three months now because we've had nothing but either rain or cloudy nights since. As for viewers questions from the last video, yes, my neighbor's garden is ridiculously overgrown. But on the other hand, she has never used it. So I don't have to worry about spying, creeping neighbors, if you want to call it that. My other neighbors, on the other hand, yeah, okay, I see them all the time. So, but the hedge and fence is higher and they look after their garden. Another viewer question, which was to do with the dew heater. Let me grab a light. So, sorry. I have the dew heater plugged in here into the USB hub, which goes straight into the dew heater's control box, which obviously then I select low, medium or high, straight there. Still powered by the same system. As you can see from the last video, I've upgraded to all brand new cables, custom lengths, so they're all a bit thingy. Not expensive. And ranging between three pound, I think the most expensive was five, and that's for the um, five meter USB free extension cable. So it's all wrapped up nicely now, as you can see. Goes down as a single cable, and then, yes. Tonight, I will be trying to go for the Veil Nebula. Obviously, you can't see that. It is very dark and very clear. There are stars everywhere. I'll do what I can. Oh, I can currently see either a satellite. I'm going to say it's a satellite. Being distracted, sorry. I'm going for the Veil Nebula tonight. So, we should see what we're getting. This video I'm going to be using solely the go-to system on the EQ3 Pro to show that it actually is very good. As long as your star alignments are correct, it should be absolutely spot on. I've used it for over a year just doing that, never had a problem. And the only thing on the computer side is I'm using Astro Photography Tool. That is it. Nothing else. No other programs. Nothing. Garden is still a mess. I have rubbish everywhere from building stuff for my van as well as this weird compartment lean-to thing I'm currently building. Just keep stuff dry. So I have tools everywhere. The deck is still not finished. Just because I haven't had the time. Work is getting busier so it's kind of difficult and I do not finish until 7 p.m. at night so yes so that is a star alignment done just a two star alignment nothing more I'm not going to bother and now I'm going to select what I want so on NGC I want 69, 92, the East Vale Nebula. Now that will go to where it needs to. And I'll just let this run. My biggest limitation is the camera. The battery is absolutely knackered. I'd be lucky to get two hours of footage. But hopefully I'm going to be doing two nights of this, so. We shall see. So I've done the positioning. I've took a single frame, did the auto stretch. And you can just make it out. It's just a little bit off. And this is a 1600 ISO at an exposure of 20 seconds. And I'm getting that. Sorry for the glare, because I've still got the floodlight on. So I can actually see what I'm where I'm standing. But yes. So, let the session commence. Now 
now we are on the computer going into the software so I ended up with 503 images of the nebula which over a two day period same amount of dark frames bias frames and so forth put all them now into auto stacker I let that do what it needs to do this did take best part of an hour